and on today's video, we have an exciting product to uh, show you. This is run-chicken.com. And what it is, is a automatic chicken coop door. And right behind me is the John Siskovich chicken tractor. And one issue that I've been having is I've been leaving this door open and then the sheep or the cow, buttercup, end up getting in there and robbing the food. So this door will work perfect right here along, along there. So all I have to do is attach some scrap wood there and some wood down here. And then this will attach. Many automatic chicken coop doors, I feel, over complicates things. But yeah, this is a run chicken. Uh, and then this looks a little bit like a chicken, but it's actually the shape of the country uh, where the person who developed it's from. I'm mispronouncing his name, but it's um, Jur Marvik. Um, he's the owner of Run Chicken, and he's the business director of Run Tiger LLC. And it was established in 2018, and uh, there was a lot of iterations of the product, and now they're on model T50. Um, and a lot of other chicken coop doors, they would make you have to frame it in and it's super big and have a string. And how this works is there's just a, uh, a gear in here that follows these grooves and it will slide it up and slide it down. And all you have to do is just make an opening. <laughs> you just have to make an opening, uh, put your screws in, and then uh, the batteries are up here and a light sensor or time sensor. But let's go ahead and get it installed. So some of the tools that I have are various scraps, pieces, pieces of wood. Uh, these to cut the, the wire. And various uh, screw gun and impact driver. I would like to thank Run Chicken for sending this to to us. Um, and uh, if there ends up being a discount code, it will be in the description of this video. So right under here is a baggie of screws. And I'll go ahead and put these screws in there and this one on the bottom. And then I'll have to build this out and get it in place. Okay, so in here has the two batteries. And this just rotates that. And there's a little button there. Let me see. Let me make sure that this slides up nicely. Okay, that is probably going to be a problem. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a spacer.
Yeah, so actually, I'll put this one here and let me get the other screws off and then that will work out very nicely. Okay, now the test. Nice. Now this went down a little bit too far, but I think uh, yeah, I, I need to move that up. Yeah, I feel all right with that. But normally this would not take that long. Uh, it, my setup was just a little bit more complicated because I needed to create that space in order to clear with the hardware cloth. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this open and I'm gonna do it from the inside. So I don't know if you've ever seen this method, but I'm just taking these pliers and just twisting it and this is thin enough hardware cloth that it um, just becomes separated. So I'm going around the edge and making sure that the opening is big enough. Okay, the opening is there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put food in there, shut the door, and then just have them enter through there.
should entice them. majority of the chickens are already in the chicken coop they found the door they're figuring out that this is the only way in and out right now and the benefit with this is that when I have the sheep or the cow out here in the pasture they can eat the grass and not steal the food in there hope you enjoyed this video uh, make sure to check out in the description and I'll have links for this product on how you can get it but the thing is, is a lot of the chicken doors out there are so complicated and this just really simplifies it. My initial impression is that it's built very good quality. This is, this is metal. Uh, I thought it was uh, plastic, but, but it, it is metal. And um, it comes with the batteries for you. And now they, I uh, contacted them and this is the only size that they have. Um, but uh, first impressions are that this is excellent. They really simplify the automatic chicken door. So there's less to go wrong with it. And uh, this is a good use case on my chicken tractor out here in the pasture. Uh, so they can have it in and out and then the humans can go through the, the human door and the chickens can go through the chicken door. So once again, check out run-chicken.com. Uh, to order your automatic chicken coop door. Here at Farmer Brad, we like to automate things, but if someone has created a product out there that gets the job done, no sense in needing to create it. So this is a great product so far, and uh, I'll do an update down the road, uh, how it's doing and my thoughts. The factory default set for the door is that it will open 20 minutes after there's been light for 20 minutes and it will close after it's been dark for 20 minutes. So the manual settings are if you want it to open at a specific time. So out of the box, uh, it just works. When I went out to the chicken coop this morning, it was open uh, and looked like it had opened uh, with the factory default. Now I went out and set it to open manually uh, and then lock in that time. And then this evening I'll go out and um, set it. But uh, yeah, there are factory settings with it. So um, that should work for most people. So thanks again and take care and until next time, bye. This is all secure. Let's get Buttercup in here to eat some of this grass.